Jersey today, but I had to stop and say hello to the Flying Yankee, and he's waiting to pull out for Long Beach. Waiting and waiting. Adios, muchacho. Yankee heading for Long Beach. This job is going to be abolished with the next timetable change March 21st. He's hoping to get a Ron Kakama job, Ron Kakama turn.
these are ugly locomotives but some of them have terrific horns on them very loud beautiful k5 la's that a lot about days in February. It's in the 60s right now. Wow. Time is 3.48. I just got off train 1161 of New Jersey Transit at Plauderville Station on the Bergen County line. Gonna hang around here and watch the evening rush hour. I'm told by many fans that this is a great spot. Trains stop here each way, of course, but you have a lot of expresses in the rush hour that fly through here, blowing their horns for the crossings on both ends of the station. Plauderville, looking north or west, looking towards Hoboken. There are crossings on each side of the station. So lots of horn blowing when trains are moving fast through here. It's <laughs> gorgeous day. February 23rd, 66 degrees at four o'clock. But by the time I leave here around seven, temperature might drop close to 20 degrees. It's gonna be very cold tomorrow. It's gonna be in the 30s. Well, it is February. There was always a station here at Plauderville, but it was rather nondescript. This station with high platforms, both sides very modern, was dedicated in September of 2011. Back in Erie Lackawanna days, the Bergen County line was the preferred freight route for trains out of Croxton as opposed to the main line. Although there were times when they did use the main line for freight, but mostly it's the Bergen County that they used it for. Even today, Norfolk Southern's H70 freight goes through here most nights, except Friday. Then at 429, approaching his train 51, and right from Hoboken to Port Jervis, he'll be flying through here. Should see 51, 53, 55, and 59 going through here. 57 and 61 will take the main line.
impressive. Powered by a GP40 FH-2. Next train we see should be French onion soup from Middletown to Hoboken, train 66, about 445. 444, I can hear French onion soup blowing for distant crossings on train 66. Train 66, after he leaves Suffern, he makes all the R stops, Ramsey, Ridgewood, Radburn, and Rutherford before he gets to Hoboken. Here he comes, French onion soup. Soup's up at 42.15, shoving on the rear. I'll see him once more before I leave. 4.47, here comes train 12.63, bound for Waldwick. Approaching Hoboken Bound is train 1178. Right from Suffern. Some rather sick horn blowing. 
Get off the track, you nitwit. Okay, at 5.09, we've got a trifecta. First up is 53 to Port Jervis. Then 11.65 for Suffern. He'll be blasting through here, too. And then stopping soon after is 13.57 for Ridgewood. Trains do track speed through here. Another GP40 FH2. Jeeps dominate on the Port Jervis trains, although not every train has them. 524 approaching his train, 1165 for Suffern. He's running a little late. He was doing rubber and fail on at 519. for Ridgewood. Got a Hoboken bound train at 529. I think this is a deadhead. Thirty four, his thirteen fifty seven for Ridgewood. And look what he's got.
Beautiful. What's this at 538? Is this 55 before Chervis? The next two Port Jervis trains, 57 and 59, won't go through here, but I hope to see 61. 544, here comes 1167, Hoboken to Suffern. His first stop after Secaucus is Radburn Fairlawn. He's got an approach medium signal to the east or to the west. Fifty-two. His train twelve seventy-four for Hoboken. I believe he originates in Ridgewood. Susquehanna local working in the area. Heard a S3L horn blowing off to the northeast. And he's got a DP shoving. No mistaking that camel hump back there. twilight sky. Now that it's getting darker, it's also getting chillier. It's about 10 degrees cooler now than it was when I got here before 4 o'clock. Arriving now at 557 is train 1269 for Waldwick. H2 4904 
as one of the worst horns of the GP40 FH2s. 613, approaching his 1169 for Suffren. He won't be stopping. Better make my way over to the other side at the far end for 1271 and French onion soup. All right, 629 approaching his train 1271. Hoboken to Waldwick with some French onion soup. And I could use some hot French onion soup. It's getting chilly. Looks like he's got junk. seen you since Christmas. I know. Uh. How's this thing running? It keeps getting a power cut out every like quarter mile. Really? Wow. All right, Ben. Here comes train 1171, Hoboken to Suffern. Makes his first stop Ridgewood after Secaucus. Should have 61 for Port Jervis, not too far behind him. Looks like he's got a Jeep. Jeeps. Yeah, this is a great spot for high-speed action. Okay, 651. Here comes 61. Hoboken to Port Jervis. This is the last Port Jervis train I'll see here.
40 pH dash 3 C 49 12. Okay, 704, the gates are going down for train 1173. Hoboken to Suffern. When I got here, a little before four, it was 66 degrees. It's now 47 degrees. Almost a 20 degree drop in temperature in a little over three hours. Well, I rode train 1276 from Plauderville to Secaucus. I'm going to go to New York instead of Hoboken. So we'll see this train pull out. He's got something old on the back. Forty-nine oh four, Shubin.